Japanese Tales, An Image in Fire. Kochujo, a young lady who served the Empress, was very pretty and graceful, and so nice, too, that all the other ladies did love her dearly, though she had no regular gentleman friend. Fujiwara no Tokosuno, the governor of Mino, did visit her a good deal. Once, while Kochujo was looking after the empress, dressed in a pale violet over a pink underrobe, a precise image of her appearance in the flame of a lamp nearby, her costume, her hair, her face, and her look as she held her hand before her mouth, each detail was perfect. The other young ladies were amazed upon the resemblance and clustered around to chatter and to stare. Not one of them was experienced enough to know what needed to be done. Kochujo took it badly when she was told. Ugh, she cried, you didn't put it out. You just kept staring at it. Oh, how embarrassing. But when the older ladies of the household found out, they were worried. Those girls should have let someone responsible know right away. Instead, they had just trimmed the lamp as usual, and left it at that. Three weeks or so later, for no apparent reason, Kochujo began to run a fever. For a day or two she kept to her room, and then fell so ill she had to be sent home. When Lord Tokasune came by to let her know that he would be going away briefly, a little kitchen maid told him where she had gone. He went straight to her house. The moon was sinking toward the west. When Kochujo came out to him, he found her curiously pathetic, while she too seemed constrained and acted distant. Takasune went in and lay down with her, but in truth he felt like leaving. They did talk all night, and by dawn Takasune found it hard to say goodbye, and he worried about her all the way home. As soon as he got there, he sent her a note to tell her how concerned he was, and promised he would be back to see her soon. Then he lingered to wait for her answer. Her reply consisted of a single word, Toribeno. Why, that was the name of the burning ground where the dead were taken. Deeply troubled, Takasune slipped the note in under his clothing against his heart, then started off. He kept taking out the note all the way along to examine it. What beautiful writing she had. And after being detained upon his destination for some time, he got away as soon as he could and hurried back, thinking of her constantly. On reaching the capital, he went directly to her home. But she had died the previous night, and they had taken her to Toribeno. Lord Takasune's feelings can easily be imagined. Yes, when someone's image appears upon a flame, the thing to do is to trim off the part of the burned wick and have that person swallow it. It's a good thing to pray hard, too. The young ladies hadn't known how dangerous a sight that they had seen, and their ignorance had caused Kochi Chiu's death.